All right, guys, we're going out to collect some of the syrup today. Look, we've got water, so that's a good thing. That means the snow's melting. Woohoo! Yes, it is. We'll, we'll stop up here at the first barrel and check it. And yesterday, we're going to be our first burn off today. Look at this, guys. The tree fell last night. You can see where yesterday we pulled all the stuff out of the barrels and look, right on top. Uh, we got the first one. And we dumped them yesterday, what, baby? Late. Late yesterday afternoon. Look at that. Look at that. You can't have none, Julia. Well, guys, it's dripping right out of the tool. tube. <laughs> the tube. <of> <laughs> I told you I was sick. Let me get up here to this one. Oh yeah, got some in it. <laughs> Bruce is still coming with the, he's getting the buckets um, along the way and I'm coming around checking all of them and I stop if there isn't something in them so he doesn't go on. Stop there. Yep, stop there. I give him the thumbs up so he knows to stop. And move on to the next ones. Yep. Woo! It's exciting. Oh, yeah. They're really flowing good now. Today is 50 degrees. And you see it just in the tubes, if you can see it. I don't think you can, but you hear it. You hear it dripping? My favorite part of the ones check-in right here. Cody has his game camera out. Oh yeah. You hear that woodpecker, listen. Darn it, he's, there it goes. Now Sophia's gonna chase it. Look right there, you can see it dripping in the dew. guys we got like four gallons in right there so now we're gonna go ahead now and head on back and run it through the cooker all right guys so we're gonna strain our first little bit with this little coffee filter just to get the big stuff out because it looked like there was some little pieces of wood or something and yeah just so we didn't have that going in to start And then we also have this that we collected collected last night. It's exciting. It must have stayed in the bottom up. Good. Now it's good then. Yeah, you can see it what's left in the cone right there. The pieces. Alright, so let's uh, let me see what's in You there. might want to do the other two. Yeah, that's what I was getting ready to see what it looked like in the bucket. I think Colby's gonna have to help me with that. Though. Colby, can you come help over here with this bucket, please? 
Yeah, definitely has little pieces of wood and stuff in it. Take the lid off the pan there, boss lady. All right, Kobe, you grab that handle. Let's go, uh -uh, Sophia, move back nice and slow through. We want to run through the little coffee filter. Y'all, yeah, try to stay inside the coffee filter. There you go. Okay, too fast. You're going too fast, there, buddy. All right. Okay. Guys, I just wanted to say we have uh, reached the pretty much the boiling point now. I've finished up my book. This was my second book I've read on the Upper Peninsula because I like reading books about where I am, where I am at, or whatever. But look, and we've already started off with that right above the first notches. You can't really see. Yeah, there ain't no blowing that steam off. But there, you can see the notch now. And it's already boiled way below that. So, woo! Guys, I just wanted to show you if you can see down into the pot. I know it's hard, but it's really gotten really low. See that? You can see barely right there. And Bruce has been chipping all day, trying to fill that void over there. Julie's out here. I'm sitting here with a cup of tea and my new book. And the other dogs are on the on porch, enjoying the sunshine. All right, guys. So I wanted to show you. This is what we ended up with with those uh, eight gallons, and it's still really hot. It's you know in the jar. I went ahead and put the lid on only because it'll seal a little bit. And I've also made some silver here. So I'm letting that finish up draining. And I've got <sighs> some deer steak and onion on the stove. But uh, anyways, that's it. I just wanted to show you what happened so you knew. And uh, I did have to bring it in. Uh, let me tell you that. I did have to bring it in to go ahead and um, finish it off. And then I also have this look, this was like the little sludge part where you strain it and look, and I got this little bit here too. So I think I'll make some pancakes in the morning. Hey guys, so it's the next morning and yes, I'm still sick, <laughs> but I'm going to um, make the pancake um, here so we can use the maple syrup, but I'll put the recipe below for this. This is the SCD um, almond flour. A pancake mix it's basically four eggs one cup of flour um a quarter teaspoon of baking soda quarter teaspoon of salt and i said four eggs and vanilla and two tablespoons of honey so i've went ahead and got that all done and you just want to mix it up really good because it will be clumpy um but here i use uh butter for the pan and i have it on about about four or five between four and five because it's with the eggs and the honey, it wants to burn a little easier. But we'll go ahead and get that cooked and I'll be back. Well, guys, there it is. The pancakes are done. And looky there. And they do brown like this. That's not uncommon. So, and I ended up turning it down between two and three. So, I may have to open up the other little jar to get enough. Because they are a little drier. But they are absolutely delicious. Thanks for watching, guys. And take care until next time.